That's the first question. We have a timetable. We have a Torah from Hashem. He tells us how many days was it? Did Egypt just say, hey, give them a head start. Let's let them go for four or five months and we'll chase them down. It's no hurry. They're going to get lost. No, there's a timetable. It tells us how many days they were gone when the Pharaoh said, what have we done? We've let our servants go. And they. So anyway, I've spent like untold hours on this subject. The places we're now going, the wilderness that you see is the type of terrain that the Bnei Yisrael, the children of Israel, had to navigate in order to get to the place that God promised through the patriarchs. So when we go here, and we look here, this is the, if you were Moses and, and you had to lead the children of Israel and you said, which way would we go? We've ultimately got to cross over into Jordan, not Jordan then, but we've got to cross the Jordan, and we've got to get to the land of Moab and pass through Edom, and then we're going to cross over at Shittim to Gilgal. You know the yeah, map, yeah, yeah. right? So cool. You're like, well, let's just go this way, Tobia. <laughs> <laughs> and Tobia, being brilliant like he is, would probably say, look, Ross, I'm okay with it, but could we maybe go this way? And then maybe, now the thing that geologists have determined is that if you look at a map, if you look at this region, you look at the geology, these rifts, they're consistent almost in, in that there are certain areas where the direction is almost forced. The next thing, the reason I'm telling you this is the next time you see one of these silly documentaries and they draw a line from Egypt, you're not in El Al, honey. You're not going to go straight there. So we have 42 stopping points listed in the book of Bamidbar, in the book of Numbers, chapter 33. How many of those places can we identify with any degree of certainty? I'm going to take you to a couple of those on this trip. You're going to actually be in certain places where key events happen in the Torah without a doubt, even though people say, wait a minute. Moses never goes into the land of Israel. Can I tell you something? That the land of Israel did not go to a lot in 3,500 years ago. Okay? So remember that. It's going to be key over the next couple of days. I want you we're going to take a group photo in a minute. I'm going to shut up and take a group photo just because I want you to fall in love with this terrain. boundary of Eretz Israel according to God and all of those we are skirting that southern boundary you're gonna see those places that are actually on the map and this isn't one of those things like it might be this it might be that no these are places that are va validated by archaeology and cool. historians uh, so look at this wilderness and wonder why it's called this great and awesome wilderness. And this, yeah. by the way, is not even close to being the breathtaking that you're going to see over the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. But I want you to look at it now and say, wow, this is cool. And then tomorrow I want you to say, oh, goodness, this is so much more breathtaking. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So just get oriented. We're here at we, Ben Gurion. Let's change this to your mouth. Uh, well, I'm just trying to orient it directionally. So basically, if we're here 
just took straight out there, you're going to run into Yom Hamelik, the salt the Dead Sea. Alright, so that's directionally where we're at. Alright. Sometimes you realize maybe what you're born for. This is desert, is what I. I don't know. 